North Korea fires ballistic missile towards seas, say South Korea military. North Korea fired a short-range ballistic missile on Sunday towards its eastern sea, extending a provocative strike in weapon testing as a U.S. aircraft carrier visit South Korea for joint military exercise in response to the North growing nuclear threats. South Korea Joint Chief of Staff said the missile launch from the western inland town of Taenchong flew 600 kilometers across the country on a maximum altitude of 60 kilometers before landing in the water of North Korea's eastern coast. South Korea military commended North Korea launch as a violence of United Nations Security Council resolution. North Korea launch of a ballistic missile is an act of grave provocation that threatened the peace and securities of Korean peninsula and the international community, South Korea Joint Chef of Staff said in a statement. South Korea had earlier detected sign the North was preparing to fire a submarine launch ballistic missile, the president's office said on Saturday, a weapon Pongyang last tested in May. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command said the launch did not pose an immediate threat to U.S. personnel or territory or to our allies, but still highlighted the establishing impact of North Korea illicit nuclear weapons and missile program. The Sunday launch is the latest in a record-breaking blitz of weapon tests by nuclear-armed Pyongyang this year, including firing an intercontinental ballistic missile at full range. In May, the North test fired a short-range ballistic missile from Sinpo, a major naval shipyard in North Korea. North Korea fired an unidentified ballistic missile into the EC, Seoul's joint staff said earlier on Sunday. Without giving further details, Japan's Coast Guard also confirmed a likely ballistic missile launch, citing information from Tokyo's Defense Ministry. Vessel, please be vigilant for new information. And if you spot any foreign object, please don't get closer to them. But inform the Coast Guard, the Coast Guard said. Japan public broadcaster said the object appeared to have fallen outside Japan's exclusive economic zone. South Korea Halsik President Jung Suk Cho, who took office in May, has vowed to beef up joint military exercises with the U.S. after years of failed diplomacy with North Korea. Under his predecessor, on Friday, the nuclear power USS Rondal, Regan aircraft carrier and vessel from its strike group docked in the southern port city of Busan, part of push by Seoul and Washington to have more U.S. strategic assets operating in the region. June is also due to meet the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris on Thursday when she visits Seoul this week. After a visit by President Joe Biden in May and the U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi last month, the USS Regain will take part in joint drift of South Korea's east coast this month. Washington is Seoul's key security ally and station about 28,500 troops in South Korea to protect it from the north. The two countries have long carried out joint exercises, which they insist are purely defensive, but North Korea see them as rehearsal for an invasion. On Wednesday, the North Korea focused website 38 North said it analysts of commercial satellite imagery showed multiple barge and over vessel gathered at the eastern port of Sinpo, where North Korea has a major shipyard building submarine. The report said the North was possibly preparing to launch a new submarine capable of fearing ballistic missile. North Korea has been pushing hard to be able to fire nuclear armed missile from submarine. Such weapons would be in theory bolster North Korea deterrent by ensuring relations after absorbing a nuclear attack on land. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.